I'm Andrew Greif with The Oregonian, along with... Tyson Alter with The Oregonian. We're covering The Oregon Ducks. It's Thursday of Cowboy Game Week. Wyoming comes in here at 11 a.m. on Saturday, bright and early. Uh, the Ducks' message this week is don't sleep on the Cowboys, though. Uh, they can beat you. Their head coach, Craig Bowl, he, he won his last four straight games against FBS opponents when he was at North Dakota yeah. State. They've done this thing before, but not quite to this magnitude. From what you've been hearing this week, what do you think about this matchup and what jumps out at you? I mean, I think it would be easy to overlook Wyoming just because Michigan State was possibly one of the biggest September games Oregon's played in history. But, you know, Wyoming coming in, they're obviously like a less talented school, but you can't sleep on the fact that their new coach coming in, Craig Bowl, he's won three straight FCS national titles. Uh, Mark Helfrich <laughs> joked that he's uh, Bowles won more consecutive games and Helfrich has won games as a head coach total. So... You know, it's, it's going to be a less talented team, but it's going to be a well-coached team, and a lot of times that can you know, play a large factor in how things play out. Yeah, 26-game win streak for Bowl. Helfrich 13-2 in his career. It's a pretty good streak for Bowl. But yeah, not bad. during the first year of putting in a pro-style offense, going from a, a spread to a pro-style, there's some growing pains there. They've scored 34 points uh, total in their first two games. Uh, defense looks good, but again, they're, they're shifting. Who knows if that's going to hold up against this offense. So it's going to be Oregon's favorite by 43. I don't expect it being close. No, not at all. Um, one of the things that will be different about this game is it's 11 a.m. kickoff, which is a little bit different than usual. Last week was at 3.30. The week before that was 7.30. So uh, guys are going to be going to bed earlier. Mark Helfrich wants them to get that eight, eight and a half to nine and a half hour window of sleep. So, um, yeah, it will be different, but I think they're, they're ready to do it. All right. We're here along with the Oregon Sports Information staff wishing you guys a good time with Phil and Penny. We're out.